So let's take this bird for takeoff. As you can see, we have Zuni rockets, bomb, snake eye bombs, and are painted with a very fittingly VT7 training squadron skin. So we're gonna go with that. And engine start. We have already connected the ground power. At 5% we move it into ignition. At 20 we will move it into idle. Eric idle. And into idle. Now if I've done all this correctly, which I doubt, um, engine RPM should steadily increase. Engine RTM is increasing. Very nice, very nice. At 40, we are supposed to tell them to disconnect this thing. Chief, turn off the ground power. And now this little thing Copy. will probably disappear. As you can see, our plane is actually starting to roll. So, canopy is going down. And plane is rolling. This is actually quite an impressive module for a community project. I mean, it's really impressive. Slowing down a bit. It is a bit shaky on the, on the ground. I mean, I don't really know why. It could be just the fact that there are so many Skyhawks on the server and stuff like that. But at any rate, it's not really behaving in a all that good manner. So, as you can see, we have the weapons panel right there. And we are taxiing out. It actually could be a n another problem now that I can think about it. Uh, so we are going to power down this a little bit, and we're gonna have a check and see. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, now it works better. It was not the mod or the server or anything else. It was a glitch that sometimes appear with my HODAS. And usually that is, the way the bug works is that it basically gives uh, an input while at the same time does not give an input. So everything appears to be super shaky. And uh, SRS basically objected and said that, hey, you idiot. And uh, now you can't use SRS until you actually rebooted the entire thing. Uh, but I'm not going to care about that. I'm just going to take off. I'm going to do my thing. And uh, basically just listen in to SRS if I have to. So we have another A4 in the hangar right there. There is quite a lot of people flying on the server right now. And uh, there is also a really, mm, there are a lot of skins to this thing. I mean, they they didn't just release it with one skin. I mean, you have one skin for each of the Blue Angels. You have Argentina, you have Israel, you have Kuwait, you have Australia and stuff like that. So, I wonder how many of them actually have problems taking this bird off because Lord knows I did. I had some immense problems actually taking this thing off. And not really with the takeoff, but more like the startup sequence. But the startup sequence was not difficult once you actually know what to do. Because I had a problem where I didn't realize I was never putting the throttle into the right position. And of course, if I'm doing it wrong, then of course it's going to be difficult. So we're going to keep on taxiing. We are going to head to a range and meanwhile I'm going to have a bit of a look on the panel here. 
I really should be looking... Ooh, you can even switch this between day and night settings. That's actually pretty neat. And there's actually a lot of clickable stuff in this pit. Emergency tanks. Sweet. Lots of buttons on this side as well. Check flaps. My airplane has basically the same number as the Swedish emergency number, which is frankly hilarious. Here we have one fast mover over the field, an Argentinian with rockets. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay, so we actually have two uh, a Skyhawks on the tarmac now, taxiing out. Oh, that's actually the walleye bomb. He's given himself the walleye bomb. Throttle, throttle, throttle. We are braking. And release. I mean, I can't blame him for giving himself a walleye bomb, but uh, not really what I would pick. The walleye is probably something new and exciting to learn, but this is just a familiarization flight, so... Wheels up. Apparently, yeah, wheels up works just fine. I just realized something else, though. I don't know if you can actually hear me, but... Uh, there is a chance that uh, when I had to plug everything out to fix the joystick, uh, that my voice disappeared. And if you're hearing me r talk about it right now, then obviously my voice did not disappear. Uh, if you do not hear me right now, then obviously you do, you are wondering why on earth my, I would just stop talking in the middle of a familiarization flight for the A4. So I'm actually going to have to look into that, see what's going on. No, you should be hearing me just fine. And since I ch checked that thing out, I am now diving headlong into the fucking ground. I hear that not diving your airplane straight into the ground is a good way to fly. So we are going to head towards a target range that is further down the coast. We are actually pretty much on target at this point. Uh, there's only one problem with all of this. Uh, I have absolutely no idea on even where Master Arms is or... Oh, wait, there's actually a weapons switch uh, right down there. So I'm going to try and keep the airplane steady in the air while I switch it to the rockets. So we're, headed, we're gonna be rolling in and see if I can actually do this thing. Let's see, also, so, yeah, weapons fire is, and weapons release. Uh, weapons release is actually set to button 2. I'm not really a fan of that, but... Um, okay, I have the target. Target is burning straight ahead. Uh, I will bet nothing. Uh, but I will get, hazard a guess nothing will happen when I push, push the button. Yeah, nothing is actually happening. Interestingly enough, the wheels button is actually protesting for some reason. 
I don't know why it does that. But let's pull up, make sure we do not crash. So weapon selection was not the only thing we needed to do then. We needed to actually... F probably some kind of master arm or something like that. Only problem is I have no idea what that could be. Ah, of course. Just like the F5. Why is the stick in the way? Also, with a roll rate like that, I'm not actually sure I want to... I might actually have to check if there's a way to hide the stick. Okay, so now we've hidden the stick. It's not the thing I wanted to do, but it's probably going to be necessary for us to see all the controls and all the things we have on the... Um, have on the stick are stuff we have either way, so... So let's do that again. All rocket hardpoints are an arm, nose, and tail. Uh, guns are unsafe, but let's put them on the ready. Uh, basically, I'm just flipping everything that looks like a weapon selector switch right now. Let's try the guns. See if... Yeah, it actually works. Pull up, pull up, pull up! Okay, so we got the guns going, which is nice. We didn't hit much, but that's not really the name of the game right now. The main thing is we actually managed to roll in with the guns. And we managed to do uh, no damage. And, I mean, targets, practice targets are expensive. They can't just allow us to blow them up in one round and just be over with. We have to learn something from this. At least that's my excuse. So let's go in with the guns again. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that the roll rate is insane. Uh, but the, the plane is not really that good at climbing. So basically you have this little strike fighters phenomenon where you almost appear to be bouncing. Uh, it could be me not flying the aircraft correctly, but at any rate I would not recommend anyone to start your attack runs on full speed. So there we have uh, an aircraft from the Ar Ar Tinian Navy, the Armada. So we actually managed to kill something with the A4. Yay! We managed to kill Red AI in Tiger something. Uh, it, and it doesn't even know we used the guns to do it. So let's have a go with the Sunni rockets. See if that goes any better. We're going to use this, these at more of a distance. It could also be, be that uh, the Sunni rockets do not want to cooperate. We're out of guns. We are completely out of guns guns. So that means, naturally, that we are going to put our guns to safe. And I am actually going to switch a button here. Weapons release is going to be joystick button 5. Uh, clear it and joystick button 5. The reason I do this is because uh, my button 2 is incredibly stiff. So, for weapons release, I usually prefer a more softer button. 
I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it does to me. Okay, so rockets uh, should be armed. Um, I think we have flipped those two ready. I think they are armed. And uh, I could just as well be wrong about all this. So let's go in and see if we can make the Zunis work for us, right? Apparently not. Zunis are still not firing. To be fair, I have absolutely no idea why the Zuni is not firing, because I have not studied the um, Skyhawk's cockpit in anticipation for this. So, in that, I have not really done my homework. But let's come about and see if we can't do, use the bombs instead. So, we're going to flip everything off here. We're going to switch to... Bombs and GM arm. We are drifting far away from the practice field now. So engines to full. There's actually a carrier out there as well. At least if I'm seeing this right. And I most likely am, so... My intention for this attack run is to make a bit of a dive towards the target. Rolling in. Anyone want to take any bets on if we're going to make this or not? Nope. We have still not dropped any external stores. There has to be something we are not doing correctly. Another airframe is currently inbound. Most likely trying to... Let's see here. Everything... These are all ready. These are all armed. Uh, ah, Master Arm was, however, not on, which is probably why we failed. So, Master Armament being on is, you know, probably good to have. Um, the fact that I looked for Master Arm so much and never found it, and then it was basically literally in front of me was it's kind of embarrassing but not more embarrassing about than the fact that I had to bring up the tutorial to even start this thing but I have to say it's one of the nicer things to fly oh look someone is trying a carrier landing already someone's brave okay so if I've done everything correctly now we have bombs ready and uh, no ripple and Bomb one, bomb two, bomb three. Oh God, clear the range, clear the range, clear the range. Okay, bomb impact did not impact the targets. So let's switch to the Sunnis and finish the job. So we're coming in from uh, a much higher altitude than the other guy is currently training with the A4.
He's passing below us now. Rolling in. Okay, so basically, any any weapons that's fired, like a rocket, is uh, with button one. Any, so you can probably fire cannons and Sunni rockets at the same time. Uh, while everything that's released is um, used by weapons release. I didn't actually notice, but... Let's move around and launch our f remaining Zuni rockets. I have to say, the Zunis are a lot of fun to fire. Pull up, pull up. Sunnis are all expanded. Return to base. Okay, so time to see if I can actually do this. I would rather f find an airstrip that's not really occupied. But at the same time, it would be nice to just taxi this thing back to her home hangar. Oh boy. I think that guy might not be able to recover. Let's hope he does. He's very low. Can he? Yeah, he can recover. Good. Okay, so we got uh, Sonaki right there. Uh, we also have uh, Kutasi a bit further away. And I am kind of inclined to land at uh, the airstrip where there's most likely... No. <laughs> no other people. Because uh, I don't want my landings to endanger anyone else. I mean, I even lost track on where the hell the other airstrip went. I mean, I lost visual on the airstrip already. When it comes to landings, I am a public menace. I mean, I should be seeing it, and I, yet I don't. So, we are gonna try for an approach angle at another airstrip instead. So, we're gonna head for Kutazi Airbase. Single strip. Should be easy enough. course that would be should be easy enough when it one that's not me let's lean back see if we can do that course we should also master arm power off the pylons Weapons offline. More power to the engine. I know I'm trying to slow down, but we're not trying to slow down as much yet. This is n this is my nightmare, trying to land a plane that, that I'm only vaguely familiar with. But let's see if this scooter can do the do the job. Of course, I'm in good company. Okay, so the vector to the airstrip should be 083. And I just realized I have. Yeah, there we go. 
Looks like uh, some marines with walleyes and zunis just took off. Followed by the navy with all the snake eyes. I mean, there's n there's not even a discussion about it. That's just all the snake eyes. It's kind of fun to watch everyone else fly the Skyhawk as well. And here we have another one from Argentina. I mean, the Argentinian Skyhawks are, are really pretty. Okay, so there's the airbase. Uh, we're not going to turn around and try and land on that airbase. I think it's going to be too busy. So we're going to try and slow this down a bit. And uh, see if I can make a landing. I am not convinced I can make that landing, uh, to be honest. Uh, especially not when I'm dropping the stick like that. I should be more careful about what I'm doing. We should have the airstrip straight ahead. I think I see it, but I'm not actually convinced. This is not going to be a pretty landing. This is going to be a god damn it, what the hell are you doing kind of landing. I got the airstrip on visual. Of course, I don't think this is going to be as bad as when I landed the F-18 Hornet. Um, that being said, I've actually never landed the F-18 Hornet. I tried it out during a free weekend and god damn it. Basically what happened was that I, um, if you haven't seen it, um, I had a 15 minute flight. Actually, I felt the Hornets was kind of nice, and uh, on approach, I dropped too low. And I mean really too low. It was basically just like, oh look, you're on a good approach, and now it's not good anymore, and oh wait, there's a tree in the middle of a highway. And suddenly, I crashed into the tree on the highway instead of landing on the actual airstrip. Shooter, Katasi landing. Final approach. There shouldn't be anyone else around here, which is exactly why I picked this spot. At least this way I'm not interfering with anyone else's takeoff. If I manage to do this without major fucking, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can rearm the plane, go back for another tour on the bombing range, and uh, and then land at the populated base. If I don't do this, then I'm gonna quit this right here and here, and quit for to watch the Rainbow Six Siege finals instead. So this is going to be a bit of a... Uh... Yeah, right now I think I'm too low. Too low, too slow. We're going to adjust our angle a little bit so it actually... So we can actually pretend that, like it looks like we are going to land. We can humor the airbase crew. I just realized that if there, this plane has a brake chute or any other method act, to actually stop the plane on the ground, I don't know it. So we basically just have to pull the brakes as hard as we can. God damn it. Power up. I feel like angry video game nerd. 
trying to land a plane in Top Gun. Air brakes on. Regular brakes on. That was not the worst landing ever. At least not so far. Let's push the brakes. Alright, looks like we need to find someone who can reload this thing. We are slowing down in a not-so-comfortable pace. I would prefer to be slowing down more at this point in time. In fact, I would prefer if we slowed down signif- Oh! Oh! <laughs> so that is what I had to do to slow this thing down. Let's see if they can rearm us on the runway with engines on, or if they are... Actually, let's switch to skin. We're no longer in training, so... Let's see here. What do we want? The tally -hoers. Seriously? The tally -hoers? Dam Busters? Top Gun? Tomcats? Yeah, of course we're gonna be the USMC VMA 311 Tomcats. And if you don't know why, you're not into it, DCS. So we're gonna reload with HE rockets this time around. And as for bombs, yeah, same bombs. Uh, we don't also refill on gun ammo and just top off the fuel. We don't need all that fuel, really. We haven't wasted all that much. Request refueling. Request rearming. Looks like that cannot be done here. So we are going to head off the, off the runway with our new Tomcat, and we're simply going to go and power it down. If I can't rearm it right now, then I'm not going to go for another round. But I promise you I will make another attempt to actually rearm it once we've come off the runway. Canopy is open. That actually does not look half bad. Okay, so a bit of rubber banding going on with uh, another one of those. Also, free fucking gun pods! I'm actually a bit scared of this guy now. Fortunately, he's nowhere close to us. But everyone remember where we parked, because I am going to take this bird up again at some point. Uh, I'm going to see if we can't just rearm it, because that would be the best way to do this. Uh, it might actually be that we have to turn off the engine in order to rearm it. Some of the aircraft actually work that way. Uh, let's taxi left and uh, just park it outside a bomb shelter. Or should we taxi right and just put it into a blast shelter? Nah, let's just put it in a shelter and call it a day. But since this module is free, basically all you have to do is download it and install it, and that's not tricky at all. I mean, if you can install if you can install DCS or if you can install a skin on DCS, 
then I promise you, you can install this module. It's free. It's easy to use. It's easy to fly. It's fun to fly. Because of the sheer simplicity. I mean, it's... It's not... It's, it's just a bunch of fun, but of course I'm biased, because I really enjoy the A4. I think the A4 is one of my favorite airplanes ever made. And, uh, so let's taxi in here. Let's see if, for the bonus round, let's see if we can actually turn the plane around as well. We're gonna turn the plane around so it's facing the entrance, then we're gonna turn it off. Then we're gonna see if we can reload while turned off. If we can, we are taking off again. Nice little pirouette we got going there, which is nice. Uh, here's the embarrassing thing. I have no idea how to turn off the engine. Uh, I only know how to well, there is, of course, a quick button to turn off the engine, so we're gonna use that one. But that also means we just lost all electrical power, meaning we do not have the power to fold the airbags anymore. So we're going to wait for the engine to come to a complete stop. There we go, and let's try and reload it again. Uh, rockets. Standard. Uh, standard ones. And same bombs, basically. Refill the gun ammo and top off the fuel, please. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Looks like we actually are getting it, so I'm not out of this cockpit yet. I do, however, think that unless we got the RPM, no, the engine is completely shut down on zero RPM, meaning that we are going to have to endure the uh, take off procedure once more. So we are Very going complete. to take another round with this. It's going to be seriously interesting here. Actually, I think I'm going to top off the fuel entirely. Make sure that I have a full load of fuel. Rearming complete. Thank you. And uh, top off the fuel, please. Request refueling. Request rearming. Yeah, there's not Got really it. much rearming needs to be done. Uh, but uh, we are going from Kutasi uh, to the target range here. Once that is done, we will be landing at Sinaki. Considering the landing I've just did, I think that I've earned a landing at Sanaki. Fuel is at 70%. Rearming complete. Yeah, but I wanted the fuel as well, please. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Stop trying to rearm. We don't need a rearm. We already got all the ordnance we need. Thank you. All right, they're filling her up now. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. 
All right, so let's put the stick into standard mode, which we've already done. All right, we're refueled. We're good to go. Thank you, Ground Chief. Now let's go for the tricky part. Engine ignition. Engine ignition, please. Oh, um... Chief, turn on the ground power. We don't have the ground power connected. Copy. Rearming complete. Just give me the ground power, Chief. Ground power is now on. Thank you. Ignition. At 5%, we move the throttle into ignition. At 20%, we move the throttle to idle. At 40%, we disconnect the ground crew. Chief, turn off the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now off. Canopy closed, and we are taxiing again. Closing the air brakes. Let's go, Marines. We have another round to... Kutasi, Chevy, two, one, request takeoff. Let's try not to be too cocky while taking off this thing. It would not do. Almost at the runway. Flaps are already in takeoff position. Katasi, this is Skyhawk 1, takeoff clearance. Runway is clear. Take off clearance. Off we go. Wheels up. Flaps up. Uh, 
I'm just going to double check the SRS channel for... Ah, there ain't one. I had expected there to be an SRS channel for uh, airplane uh, for uh, traffic on the runway, but there th didn't seem to be any. Just a common tactical one. So we've left Kutasi and we'll be heading towards this range over here. People are already s bombing it with God knows what. The wall ice seems really popular to try and use right now. Can't really blame them for that. Let's climb a bit more and attack the target area from a higher altitude, really. Let's maneuver to look for the bend in the river that mocks the targeting sites. I don't really care if there's actually targets left. That's not really the point of this exercise. The point of the exercise is to try and get our munitions on target. Just heading. Alright, since I'm fairly certain we will not crash, hard points on, master arms on, rockets clear. This time we are going to go in with rockets first, and I'm going to test a theory here, uh, meaning we will also put the arm, nose, and tail guns ready. What I want to check right now is if I can fire the guns at the same time as I'm firing everything else. Or rather, not everything else, but uh, firing the rockets more like it. Contact with target area. Tomcats are rolling in. What we are going to, to do now is a bit stupid. The reason why it is stupid is because we need to slow in, slow down a bit, go flaps. And the reason we do that is because uh, put the A4 into fast dive, you might not come out of it. For some reason, it still whines about the wheels, but I think it really whines about the flaps. Going hot. Yeah, we can actually fire the guns and everything else. Pulling up. It's a bit interesting to see how we're firing basically both the guns and missiles at this, uh, or, and rockets at the same time. Uh, however, let's see if there's a ripple somewhere around here where we can actually. Yeah, we have um, that one for that. But let's keep firing them in single mode. Way more fun that way, really. We're coming in at a slightly 
better angle this time around, so I don't need the flaps anymore. Unless, of course, the flaps have decided to just stick in their current position. Nah, there they go. There we go. We didn't really fire those to hit the target. We, mo we pretty much only fired those to look good. I mean, that that target range looks like the crater of the goddamn moon at this at this time. So we got one of the armada turning home. We got some dude diving down on us, I think. Nah, he's diving down for a gun run. Alright, let's go close. Second one. Fire! This thing is an absolute thrill to use. I mean, I don't know why you're still watching this. Go get DCS World. Go get this plane. This plane is free of charge. You don't need to pay for it. It's uh, made, made by a modding team that, I mean, has done a terrific job with it. Alright, let's go rolling in. We still have a couple of rockets left. So let's make a sharp turn and see if we can actually push this plane to its limits. I mean, it's not really much of a familiarization flight if I always pull the throttle gently to see what I can get away with. Oh, I really liked how th that some of those rockets just flew way short. Oh, look, we have a friend right there. Let's see if we can follow him. I mean, formation flying is a vital skill, right? Tango, tango, tango. Fox 4 guns. We're not going to fire, obviously. I don't even think we have any gun ammunition left, but I want to see if I can actually follow this guy. Now, nah, we don't we don't have anything left. It's also pretty neat to just watch another plane do their attack runs. But time for dilly-dallying is over. Switching off exter Middle hard points, switching to bombs. Lots of Sunnis on that gap. All right. Let's drop a few bombs and call it a day. Let's drop a few bombs on that guy. VC1 Gladiators, I think. In fact, we might be hard-pressed to avoid not dropping at that guy. Release, release, release. Let's follow him out of there. Oh crap, we are a bit too close. Okay, 
Let's return to the strip and land. Uh, hopefully, Sanaki will not have that much of a busy schedule right now. Let's see. Yeah, runway is that way. <sighs> Slow down a bit. Since uh, no one seems to actually listen to SRS, I felt it. I felt compelled to report the uh, fact that I was, I was going to land. Oh wait, Senaki is right in front of us, and uh, that means we are going to have to take up the distance a little bit, or we could try a. Yeah, let's actually let's do that. Oh, wait. Landing gear overspeed damage. That doesn't sound good at all. In fact, that sounds like something that could jeopardize our landing in a horrible, horrible way. So this is basically a typical landing from my part. And when I say that, it is the kind of landing that will crash a plane. Uh, the previous landing you saw was more refined and... Oh, God. Uh, there are actually two Skyhawks on the tarmac right now. And let's hope they actually read the chat and do realize that I'm, not, <laughs> that I'm on my way in. Throttle up. So far, landing this thing, like I said, feels like, like Angry Video Game Nerd landing the plane in Top Gun the game. Uh, meaning it's um, a bit of a mystery regarding how you actually do it. I mean, I have no training on, on this. No training at all. So there are two Skyhawks currently waiting for me to actually land this thing. So hopefully, hopefully I will not embarrass myself in front of them. Uh, we are a bit too much to the right. We will try and correct that before we... And we will not crash into the other Skyhawks. Speed up. Pu pull the air brakes. We we'll probably shouldn't do that right now, but... Okay, so whatever damage the gear had, it doesn't really seem to affect us right now. Speed down. Pull the brakes. Pull every break in the book. And slow this bird down. We're not stopping quickly enough here. I'm gonna have to power slide her. God. Oh! <laughs> I have no idea what happened. We just blew up. I have no idea what happened. We basically just blew up in something that looks almost looked like a nuclear explosion. But we just blew up. And here I was thinking, God damn it. I mean... I'm just beyond words. I don't know why that happened. But basically, there's now a major fire hazard on the runway. Let's hope these uh, Armada guys from Vicento de Mayo can actually, <laughs> can actually take off. And um, that I'm not in the way for them. Uh, let's see here. Second plane in that formation is the one I want. More marines are taxiing out there, watching the fire hazard. That is me. Looks like this guy actually managed to land alright, but... At any rate, I have to say that the A4 Skyhawk is a really fun thing to fly. 
uh, it's easy to learn, it's uh, simple to use, uh, it's free of charge, you don't really have to pay for it, which is arguably a sin. I would pay for this to be an official module. If this was a... maybe a 30 or 40 dollar module with a little more work to it, I would pay for it for the luxury to have it on every multiplayer server. Because it's a neat little bird, and it's not a bad one. So, basically, if you're into DCS, just go download it. Try it out for yourself. You're gonna like it. Or at least I hope you will, because otherwise you don't have a soul. Catch you guys later, and see you up in the air.